What's up folks? My name is Michael, aka the Tall Bearded Doughboy. Today I want to try and show you how to make a, how to build a easy, cost-effective chicken tractor. Kind of like this one right here. See that? don't do a whole lot of tutorials I'm gonna do my best I went to the store today and I got the bare bones to make the bare chicken tractor the cheapest way possible and this is a very simple design it's basically Joel Salatin's design it's I believe it's pretty cheap I'm thinking between 200 and 250 dollars depending on some of the materials you decide to use what the uh, materials is like in in your area like the market at the time that you're building one a year from now, prices could be sky high or, or back to normal. But let's get to it. Now some of the obvious stuff you're gonna need, you need a pencil, square, screw gun, you need a skill saw of some sort. I went to the store today and I have a list. Basically, for this design, you want two two by four by 12 foot long, 13, two by four by eight. You're gonna end up getting about 50 feet of some sort of wire. This particular one, I decided to go with the smaller chicken wire. Got two rolls of this two by 25. But on the other chicken tractor I just built a few weeks ago, I used more of a um, gardening wire. And I think either one would be fine, but a raccoon or a critter could still reach his hand in. I actually wanted to get the industrial small little half inch squares. But anyway, at some point you will want a drill bit to drill your holes for your tires. So when you go, you're gonna get a couple of these little lawnmower tires. That's all I got. These little eight inch tires right here. Nothing to it, nothing special. They, they didn't cost very much at all. Then you get a couple of bolts, two bolts, and two nuts, and I'll show you how to do all that. First thing you want to start with doing, marking two fit on all four ends of your 2 by 4 by 12 A big reason why you want to do this, this is going to help you line up and eyeball your square post going up. So a lot of this will be eyeballing and this this build could be done in about an hour and a half you know of course i'm going to take longer because i'm using camera setups but eyeball it's just fine the next thing we need to do is cut our four corners two feet long easy peasy mark you a two by four by eight every two feet So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and pre-drill our screws. Just make it a little bit easier on us. Now I've got these exterior wood screws. You don't have to use those. Use whatever you got around your house. I prefer you use at least a two and a half minimum. Two by fours are an inch and a half. You want to go through it, bite through the other side. Three inch if you can get it. For now, all you got to do Kind of put one up here in the corner, put one just a little bit further down here on both ends, on all four of them. Now what you're going to do is lay that, that two by four that you got your screws pre set in right along that square line that you made. Get it good and squared up the way you like it. Make sure your bottom edge is flush down here. And screw it in.
Now just to make everything line up really well, you want to stay on the left side of your line. So you pulled out two feet, you want to go to this side of your line, two feet over, and every time, that way you know you have eight feet from stud to stud that way. Now the next part is even easier. The distance between your two studs should be eight feet. Stand it up, lay your, your two by four, your eight footer full board down. Now you got your sides. Try and get it all kind of lined up with your edges like this. Put one screw. Only one screw. That way you can line this end up. Same thing. Top splash, side splash. This is where it can get a little tricky by yourself. And if you have one, get you a little a clamp like this. And all this point on is pretty much just connecting the dots. I always like to get stuff pre-started. Get it where you want it. One screw. Same thing. Get it where you want it. One screw. And what you'll do later on is come back and you'll run screws over here, running a couple more over here. Just tighten them up some more. This is where you need your clamp. You can go ahead and get yourself started. Save you a world of trouble. Clamp it in place where you need it. This guy here, because we're at eight feet, you're gonna make sure that you're eight feet flush on the top. One screw. Come down the other end. Y'all tell I'm not very good at this. Pop your other hand off. Flush. Eight feet. There you go. Run the other screw. It's starting to look like something now. Do the exact same thing on the other end. I mean, come on y'all, how easy is that? Been going at it 20 minutes maybe. You already got your frame. The next thing you wanna do is wrap it with your wire or we can go ahead and build the top frame. Let's do that. So in order to have a door like this one, it's about two feet. What we're gonna do is measure back two feet, assuming this is our front now. Look, I didn't run this last screw in here. I'm getting excited. And all you need is another full eight foot stud. Go ahead and get you some screws started again. fun yet so far we've gotten the frame up the structure going all of the braces 
I'm hoping I get this done. It's getting dark and I'm burning up already. Let's keep going. What I recommend, finding you some crates or something, kind of help hold it up like these. Huge difference. Now at this point, you can go around and add extra screws and everything. Put as many screws as you can get in it, every different direction, help tighten it up, lock it all together real well. And it'll last, I believe it's gonna last a long, good long time. But I haven't done this fence yet. I did the different, that kind of fence on the last one. So kind of curious to see how this goes. I have some staples that I used from a, another project. These guys right here, I can't remember how much they were. Building one tractor, you probably get one for four bucks. Let's see what we're up against here. Finally got that part done. Let's just go ahead and do the tires. So the roof's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you just, you layer on there, screw it down, no big deal. You need to build you a door for the front with some hinges on it, open and shut. Kind of like over here, that stuff's not too bad. The wheels, that gets a little tricky. Now you want to cut you four pieces, about two and a quarter. It's enough room for your wheel to set down inside there, run your bolt through, it gets you right where you want to be. I don't know if you noticed, but when I was measuring those, I was adding an eighth of an inch to allow for the saw blade. By the time you got to the end, if you kept measuring the same, you would end up with like a two inch cut. So always allow a little on tight, repetitive cuts. That might be a little bit too much, but just try it. All right, so we're gonna start our screws like always. Inside to inside dimension, 10 inches. Get the screw started. Same thing here. Center about six and a half inches. You want to come up about an inch. Try to hold it level, eyeball it. You know, it won't go all the way through the other side. So you just push it as far as it'll go or get a bit that will go. Eyeball it again. I think that was a five and a half inch by half inch bolt and a five and a half inch by half inch nut. Do the same thing to the other side. So next, I'm going to put the roof panels on and I bought those for about 80 bucks. I actually bought them the same time when I bought my other ones <clears throat> and I had them cut them six foot three, but you still buy a full panel. Um, you could go with a tarp save a little bit of money but you probably replace the tarp every year this is like more of a long term if you got the the money go ahead and buy the panels and get them cut if you can if not whatever metal shears plastic cut you know whatever you get will work just fine
If you buy it from a metal uh, roofing company, they'll give you screws that'll match it. Self drilling, they'll go right in the wood just fine. I actually just leave mine overhanging. They're a little bit too long. As much rain as we had recently, I realized I was glad I did that. Let's go through, screw it down. I always screw right in the middle. And then we're gonna build our door. Um, I actually want to put them in there tonight. So I don't have any hinges. It's one thing I forgot. I'm gonna put some L brackets on it. But you get the idea of the, the door up there. One last thing I forgot, the handle. Basically use the same bit you used on your tires and drill you a hole on each end. Get the length you want. Tie your knot on each end. There you go. Thanks again.